Shaving with a nice piece of history today, the valet auto strop. You can miss it, but I don't recommend it. See you if you stay. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Today is, uh, or this week is Whiskey Week on um, BBS Live. So we're going to do a whiskey themed shave. Um, I've got something cool to show you. This is the Valet Auto Strop. So this strops your blade as well as shaves. It's got this little um, leather strop that comes in it. And here's how it works. Pull it this way. Strops this way, pull it back this way, strops back that way. And then you just pull it out when you're done. So it comes in, I'll show you this little thing. You just kind of fold it up and then right here in the case, it comes in there. So you just push it back in there and then close it down. And this stays right here. So you just pull up and then pull it out. Pretty cool. Um, extra razor blades can go in here which has got some of the original valet blades in there. And then you can modify a, um, um, a gem blade to go in there as well. Um, and then razor fits right there. So I just got this in. I have an older, or not an older version. Actually, it's a newer version, but it doesn't take um, modified gem blades. So I don't, I don't really use it. Um, and it's right. Oh. Sorry, right there. Um, so this is actually older than that one, but you can despine a gem blade and then uh, clip the edges of it, um, and that will take care of it. Um, actually, I think this has got one in here that that's already been done to. Let me see. Yeah. So you despine a gem blade, and then you cut these edges right here, and that will make it work without having to get the original valet blade. So anyway, I got this off eBay. I'd been looking for one of the, um, the types that would take the gem blade, and I finally found one for a price that was okay with me. So here's what I got. So the blade just goes back down here, and once you're done, you just pull this lever right here, and that locks the flipping action. So if you do this, it will flip. Once you're done, you just push this down and that locks the blade in, which you can also see on the front here. I'll try to do it at an angle where you can see. There. And you can see that locks the blade in to the comb. So really neat. Let's see. I don't know how far I'm going to go with the shave. I'm actually cooking right now also. I've got some taters in the oven. Um, I've got some chicken marinating, so um, I'm going to make a little dinner tonight as well. All right, so that's the razor of the day. Going barrel proof since it's Whiskey Week from um, collaboration with Zingari Man and BBS Live. I've got the matching splash, the beautiful woody boozy bourbon scent, nice vanilla in there as well. And I've got the extrate for my scent of the day. I have the unscented balm and then my brush as soon as I get a little water out of it. Mm-hmm. I had to bring this one back for a, another go. It's so sparkly. It's so pretty. This is my Ryan Tansy um, Turnings by Tansy. It looks like turning by, Turnings by Tans. Um, so anyway, that will be my brush. So, as it is Whiskey Week, Evan Williams, Bottled and Bond, 100 Proof. Cheers, everyone. Happy Thursday. I mean, this, this stuff is like, I think I paid 20 bucks for it. I had $18 for it, for a 100 Proof bourbon that's got a ton of flavor. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Maybe you can go wrong with that, but I can't go wrong with that. All right, so let's get going. Uh, just bougie water today, no spa. Um, 
because I forgot to put hot water in it. So a little water into the face and we'll load some of this goodness up. <clears throat> if you like boozy scents, um, and sandalwood scents, this has got a super creamy sandalwood, really nice. Got a um, touch of a coconut scent to my nose which I think works wonderful in here. I wouldn't think of, you know, coconut with bourbon, but I, I don't know, I, it works awesome. I think it's great. All right, I think we're loaded up nicely. I had a little more water in that badger hair than I thought to as I was um, loading up. It's like dripping all kinds of um, soapy water into the sink. Oh, and I forgot my towel. What? Oh, here we go. Just a um, detailer's towel. Nothing especial, um, but works great. All right. So let's get going here. Hope everyone's had a good week so far. I've been on vacation, which has been wonderful. I spent the first few days doing absolutely nothing just to kind of get my sea legs back under me. No, I'm not a yachty. I don't work on a ship. I'm not a fisherman. I don't even know what that means. But I'm calling them my sea legs. My sea legs are fatigue. Whatever. I know it doesn't make any sense. Can we sing you a sea shanty? Well, I ain't gonna. Mm. The scent is so rich and good. Really love this soap base. This is the Sago tallow base. Or is it? Maybe this is the vegan. I love both of them. I think this is the tallow base. Look at the ingredients. Yeah. It has a tallow base, but I really, really love the vegan base as well. I think we're going to be good here. Nice and shiny. I had a lot of water still in the brush, so. I've actually added more than it looks like here. This one, I wonder if this one, I wonder if this one tastes good. Who knows? I mean, sandalwood bourbon. It may have been stupid. Actually, it's not real bitter. Um, I mean, I'm going to give that a seven. I know, seven on the tasteometer. It's actually, I mean, it's very clean. I get a coconutty vanilla. And then that sandalwood. I, I, I'm not going to eat any more, but that was, uh, that was not bad. I, I think I will wash it down, though. It's a little dry on the tongue. Cheers.
or as they say in Louisiana, La Bouton Pagne de la Cheers. Let's do this. smooth um not very efficient it says i think three days growth with the grain here. It seems really hard to tell where your sideburns are. Um, I mean, you can get it, but it's kind of this, this long comb here that makes it a little more difficult for me. And some people really swear by these razors. I think they're super neat. Um, I don't think they're overly smooth razors um, or efficient. I say that there's one of the models that's super efficient. Um, I'm not sure which one there, that one is. This is one of my favorite looking razors, um, but certainly not one of my favorite performing razors. Just a pretty cool looking specimen. Scary looking razor, but no reason to be. Ah, uh, uh, nose itches. I had this allergy stuff going on. Me, Reed, and Mandy are all experiencing allergies right now. Jackson a little bit, but not to the extent that we are. Well, oh, it's flung a ton on me. There's a little bit of soap in here. Enjoyed watching the Canadian Mafia show last night on their live on Instagram. It was very fun as usual. If you don't follow them and you like wet shaving, you like adult beverages, you like to win stuff, check them out. They're every other Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. They're real mushrooms. Real fun, guys. 
whatever. I know I've used that before. I don't know what gem blade this is because it had already been done, but I don't love it. But I don't already have a um, modified persona, so this is what we're using. I can tell you that I'm definitely not going to overshave. I think um, this last pass and then I'll clean up my neck a little bit and call it good. I gotta get in there in the kitchen and start all my chicken anyway. Taters are almost done. This cold water is not helping anything. Got a couple new brushes in the works. One from Grizzly Bay and John at Grizzly Bay and one from Brendan at um, Maritime. So I'm looking forward to seeing those and then I'm done buying brushes, at least for a good while. I really would like a brush from Trotter. I think his name is Paul. Cut our handcrafts, but just not in the cards right now. I mean, you can hear that, that sounds rough. Oh well, I mean, it's still producing a really good shave, just not the most comfortable shave in the world. I'm gonna blame it on this blade that I don't know anything about. There we go, it's a better angle. <clears throat> uh oh, I don't like it. I'm going this way. I'm not going to keep doing something that's uncomfortable just for the camera. You guys know I'm going to give you the real, and it ain't real good. I 
I will definitely modify a persona next time. get a few places just to get a little closer uh, and then I'm calling it yeah not comfortable that being said it's still gonna be a really nice shave Nice. Not super comfortable. Uh, who am I kidding? Fairly uncomfortable. Not terrible, but not good. There's a lot of hair in here. Maybe a little more than I thought. I don't know. I'm not gonna make any real judgment on the razor yet. I think that blade just didn't didn't work for my hair for sure. Not on this day anyway. Good thing the taste of the soap is all right. I want it to be a total loss. You guys weren't able to get barrel proof on the first time around you definitely need to when it comes back out i assume that it will come back out again um this fall i hope it will because you know why well, who am i kidding i'm gonna say i need backup but it's gonna take me eight years to get through this tub of soap so probably not all right inspect Really nice shave, even though it didn't feel great. Little aftershave splash. Get all the goodies back in my skin. Mm, mm, mm. Even richer scent here. A little more of the coconut scent. And then the X-Straight really brings out the um, the wood. Um, there's a, I get a lot of cedar. Um, um, just a lot of a lot of woodsy scent in general. The sandalwood is better. It's even smoother, stronger. I feel like there's a cedar note that comes out there. Um, maybe it's not cedar. Maybe it's oak. Uh, oak wood which would make sense being that it's bourbon inspired, uh, but super nice. Finish up a little balmy balm. Do a three pump chump. Speaking of some of the weird things that I say on here, make up words and stuff. Um, I've never heard this one. Maybe you guys have heard this one, but on my last video, um, someone someone said like, you know, great shave, brotato bro chip or something like that. It was brotato chip. Uh, I've never heard that one. I mean, I've heard all the brosif and, you know, a lot of other bros, but never heard brotato chip. So cheers. That was a good one. 
I've never given a cheers for a comment before, so cheers, brother. Nice birthday, though, Chip. Is it the enabled shaver? I think so. I think it's the enabled, which he has a YouTube channel, so please go check it out. The enabled shaver. Man, it is so rich. That vanilla really shines in there to me, too. So nice. Oh, um, right there when I was going down, I knew that didn't feel comfortable. So I got some, some little weepers in there, but whatever. Alcohol really brings those out, too. So, you know, um, I'll get those cleaned up very easily. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for being part of my, um, my vacation week. And uh, I'll try and see you again before I go back to work. But uh, until then, thank you for joining me. Peace. See you on the next one.